It's not Mario Party. It's not a Nintendo Switch Party. It's third party. What's going on guys, it's Mason and Delfino. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're talking about the third party games I would love to see come to the Nintendo Switch platform from Nintendo on the Switch this year, today, I don't care. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and don't forget to ring that bell to get every notification for this E3 month I am putting videos out for. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for video updates and all that good stuff and join my Discord server for all that Nintendo nerd fun from your boy. So with that said, let's talk. Nintendo has been absolutely killing it with the Switch. That's one of the things that really has made me realize this is a possibility. This is going to happen eventually, I promise. Since March of last year, that is 14 months now. It is May. In the last 14 months, we have seen a really high-scale Mario, a really high-scale Zelda game. We've seen all kinds of stuff. Donkey Kong, Splatoon, ARMS. Everything is kind of just surfacing here and even Kirby's on the switch now and Nintendo Labo They're going all out with all these unique new IPs and everything and all these revamps of games like ports and all that You know, that's fine. We got Captain Toad on the way My point is there's a lot of games that are coming to the system already and I am amped up But let's talk about other things like third party because they need that to support themselves too at first everybody was like you know this is a nintendo system why would anybody support it with third party here it is outselling the ps4 in terms of sales of the system itself now and then and even the third party games on both platforms is selling better on the switch version so i think those people are kind of just a little dumbfounded right now i would be but because it's doing so well they need third party they're going to get third party but let's talk about what would be cool to see one third party game i would love to see on the nintendo switch is wait for it I know, Mason, why are you gonna say this? Fortnite, okay? Let's talk about that because, you know, Epic Games has created such a game that is literally on every platform now, basically. It's on PC, it's on mobile, it's on PS4, it's on Xbox. It is literally everywhere. A while back, there was a little rumor going around saying Fortnite may be going to the Nintendo Switch, and honestly, I'm excited about that. I would probably buy it. I'm not really into shooter games or battle royale games or anything like that. I have played Fortnite on my computer before. I love it. It is fun, it is adrenaline rushing, and it's like, you know, it's one of those pick up and play games until you get addicted to it and then there's no leaving probably. I just like to pick it up and play it now and then. I'm not addicted to it. But it's just one of those games where really I think it would be awesome to see because it's crazy that this game has so many online capabilities to play online with 99 other people and stuff. And like such a big world to explore and build around and protect yourself in until the end. My point is a lot of people play Fortnite and I think it'd be cool to see on the Switch. I would love it. It would probably sell like hotcakes. Just saying. I know this is already happening but we have Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy coming in July. That is something that was rumored a while back. It was taken down during an interview and you know They've just been kind of hiding it up until the March Nintendo Direct So it was really cool to get confirmation on that But then let's talk about another game Spyro Spyro is another game that I haven't actually played I love Crash Bandicoot I know him and Spyro are like cousins to an extent but like I've never played a Spyro game I've never understood why it's so fun because I haven't played it I know people love Spyro and I'm sure I would like it too if I got my hands on it So that's another game I would like to see because it's a 3d platformer and Nintendo fans love a good 3d platformer in our hands. The Nintendo UK posted it on their website and then it got taken down shortly after. So I'm assuming it is coming to the Switch at some point because Crash did so well on PS4 and it's coming to the Switch now because the Switch is doing insanely well on a Nintendo system at that. Last but not least, I know this is kind of a pick everybody would have if you're into PlayStation games, uh, Overwatch. Now, I've heard rumors about this one also coming to the Switch. I've heard people say they want it. I've heard people say they love the game. I love Overwatch. That's my favorite PS4 game that I have besides Crash right now. And I don't play it that often anymore because I play on my Switch. I'm making YouTube videos. I got college. I got a girlfriend. I'm a busy dude. But, you know, whenever I do play my PlayStation, that is usually my go-to game. It's just one of those really fun multiplayer online games. You can change between 25, 27-ish characters at this point. I don't know. Uh, maybe even more than that. I'm not positive. But the thing is, you can play online with a lot of other people. And it is really fun. If you're ever into shooter games, this is the third person shooter that is really fun. So with that said, I guess that's it. Those are three third party games I would love to see on the Nintendo Switch. Now let me know what you think about the third party situation for the Switch. Do you think they could have a lot of third party this year coming? Or do you think they're kind of done with third party focusing on themselves? Let me know what you think and let me know what third party games you would love to see on the Switch down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you next time.